Yo, what up? It's me, your boy. Man, has it been time since we did one of these, and I hope you're excited because we're about to root out a snake that seems to have tried to worm its way into our community. Yes, we are. But you might want to check your sources on that one. Stick around as we take a look at the Ilya Moon scandal. Today's show is brought to you by channel members and patrons alike. To contribute to the show, click that join button or head over to www.patreon.com slash theplothole1. That's the number one, not the loneliest number you could ever do. Rack focus. What would you do if someone approached you seeking help with her cancer? Would you dare question whether or not she was faking? How dare you? How dare you, How dare you question someone with cancer? With cancer. With so many people questioning so many different aspects about this latest fundraiser fraud, several people in the community banded together in order to expose the truth. This left many in the community angry, frustrated, hurt, and with many questions. How does one make the conscious choice to actively lie about cancer? And who do you turn to, to exploit or conspire? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to get through this the best that I can, guys. I am a bit emotional because this community is amazing, but um, it started about a month ago. I had a very severe jaw and toothache and um, I went to the, to the dentist, right? And they did full bone x-rays and everything and they had determined, you know, that my teeth were actually cracking down the middle straight through the, through the root but a mass also showed up so they sent me to an oral oncologist and did a biopsy on it and it came back as osteosarcoma stage one osteosarcoma is a type of bone cancer that begins in the cells that forms the bones it is most often found in long bones more often the legs but sometimes the arms However, it can start in any bone. Jaw osteosarcoma is extremely rare, affecting 0.7 per million cases. Now, most would think, if you're going to fake cancer, why pick something so rare? Why not breast cancer? And that is where this one begins to break down. And um, so it is stage one. It has not um, spread, which is good. We've caught it really early. Um, I'm really glad too that we've caught it early, um, but I am going to be um, going through radiation as well as um, surgery once I'm through radiation because the, the point of the radiation, of course, is to help shrink it. A few months before Ilya's cancer fundraiser, someone who lived in Tennessee and went by the name Ilyu Moon held a GoFundMe to pay for past due dental bills, which took no donations. Hell, people have a hard enough time paying for their own bills let alone someone else's, during a pandemic. Fast forward to the end of 2020. Ilya let it slip to her co-hosts on the Sit Down with the Bunkers channel that she had cancer. So they went to Red's Rudder to hold a fundraiser. This fundraiser received over $4,000 in donations to the GoFundMe account. We aren't sure how much she got in the PayPal donations. Now we're caught up with the backstory. Let's get into some of the nitty gritty. During the Sean Hufford investigation, I was sent a message from a source telling me that this source had information on Ilya Moon claiming her fundraiser was fraudulent. Now, this wasn't a new concept, as a few people had pointed this out before. Jessica G predicted Moon's scam well before it happened. Sorry, Unirock, I honestly had no idea you looked into this one as I only heard about you in passing and mostly to do with the non sequitur stuff. As I wasn't around for the non sequitur show, I had no interest in that. That isn't mean to take anything away from your work. I just didn't have any knowledge of it at the time when Jessica G made the prediction. After some pressure from people investigating, FTFE's Craig decided to contact Ilya in order to convince her to produce receipts or documents proving that she had paid for cancer treatments. The GoFundMe was updated with this. At first glance, this document satisfied most. I thought so too. Maybe it was my need for this one to be good. As bad as it sounds, I truly hoped Ilya had cancer. 
but something didn't sit right with me. The document didn't look right, so I reached out to another source. She immediately reminded me of the timeline showing that Ilya couldn't have been receiving these treatments. My source then looked over the receipt posted on GoFundMe. With little to no hesitation, we both came to the conclusion that this document was forged. Duplicated invoice numbers, header looked wrong, payment amounts seemed to be random, lots of stuff. I contacted Nate the lawyer and asked him if this receipt looked anything like any hospital bill he'd ever seen. This is the moment that this can of worms popped back open. We both agreed that we wanted to call the hospital and compare Ilya's documents to the hospital's documents. Nate and I spoke extensively getting confirmation on Ilya's identifying information in order to verify the validity of this document. After several calls to the Thompson Cancer Survival Center and Covenant Health Hospital, Nate the lawyer was able to confirm what we both knew to be true. The document was forged. Ilya Moon lied about having cancer. The fundraiser was fraudulent. We had the proof. Now all we needed was a confession. Nate spoke with Ilya the following Sunday after he sent an email to the local Tennessee authorities. Listening to Ilya's responses, I could hear the desperation in her voice as she spiraled into damage control. Nate executed a well-crafted interrogation that Ilya had no defense against. And after all the deflection, all the misdirection, and after all the bullshit, Ilya confessed. Right. The truth is, is that yes, medical payments were made for some treatments to Covenant Health. What I was wrong about was where treatments were received and how it was received because I thought if I went through the process of talking about it being through the ortho orthopedic surgeon because the tumor was in my mouth, then people would think that it was just for teeth stuff and that's not the case. So I changed the header to Thompson Cancer Center. So so just to be clear, you weren't a patient at Thompson Cancer Center. No. Because because I'm I'm gonna I have to call them now because they were going to report it to the authorities too. No. So I just want to make sure because I'm I gonna don't. Call, I'm gonna call them and say, well, this was a total mix up. I had the wrong name or something. But just to be clear, you were not a patient at Kent Thomas Cancer Center. Before I call no. them, I don't want to stop them from doing their doing it. So you were never a, a patient there, all right? No. I would be remiss to not acknowledge all of the investigators working on this case. Uni Rock and crew did a fantastic job of keeping pressure on all the fundraisers in question. Fight the Flat Earth's Craig also got another confession from Ilya Moon, and several other people were deeply involved in digging up as much information on this scandal as possible. All of these players helped solve the curious case of Ilya Moon, that snake who tried to weasel her way into our wallets and our community. That being said, Here's to today's Dingleberry, Ilya Moon. That wraps up my comments on this fraudulent fundraiser. With all the other players releasing their own videos, I'm sure everybody will have a complete and comprehensive picture of the goings on of this case. As for my involvement, outside of the one live stream that I have scheduled for Sunday noon central, I'm finished with this one. I intend to wash my hands of Ilya Moon. I challenged her to apologize for attempting to manipulate me, but I don't need your apology, Ilya. I doubt it would be sincere to begin with. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Become a member of our Patreon by following the links in the description below. Many thanks to all of my supporters. Without your continued support, I wouldn't be able to put on the show that I put on, and I greatly appreciate it. I cannot express how much your continued support means to me. Thank you very much. As always, I'm Johnny O, and don't forget, finger guns, baby.